Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day as usual. So I have to tell you, I saw a video floating around YouTube and it kind of inspired me to want to do it myself. It is the top five luxury items that I won't buy. Now that doesn't mean I don't like these items. It's just for whatever reason, I can't get myself to pull the trigger on them. But I do have to tell you all five items that I'm going to mention today are all items that I've really considered buying and I actually actually really really want so let me repeat these are not items that I wouldn't recommend or I don't like they're just for whatever reason you know and I'll let you know those reasons I just can't quite pull the trigger on them so I thought it'd be fun to share them with you guys and kind of get your feedback as well to see if you agree or to see what items out there that might be trending or what luxury items are there things that you really want but you just can't quite pull the trigger on them. So anyway, without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see what my top five luxury items that I won't buy for one reason or another, then keep watching. Okay, so these are in no particular order. The first item I have to tell you is something that I've been wanting for such a long time, and that is the Chanel mini flat bag. You guys, I love the classic Chanel quilted bag. I just think that's so beautiful. I think I've told you before, I do have the medium classic flap and I love it so much. I use it for special occasions, but I've seen so many people with the cute little mini bag and I just really, really want it. But you guys, I'll tell you why I can't justify it. I just can't justify the price. The bag for a tiny little Chanel bag is $3,500 retail. Now you can go to Fashion File or you can go to The Real Real and places like that and get it, um, you know, pre-loved, which I think would be a really good option and you'll probably pay half that price. But for such a small bag, I just can't justify the price. Like, you know, I just did a recent um, unboxing of the super mini Gucci bag. Now that one was $780 plus on top of that, I had a gift card to put towards it. So I was able to justify the mini bag a little bit more, but paying $3,500 for a Chanel mini bag, I just can't justify that. Plus, in addition, I told you I do have the Chanel now classic flap in the medium size which I do really love and use for special occasions so because of that I keep talking myself out of it so I'm not saying that I'll never ever get this bag maybe someday I'll just be like in a mood or maybe I'll get a bonus or maybe we'll just you know I would have like really thought about saving for it maybe I will eventually purchase this bag for whatever reason every time I think about it now I pull myself back and I just can't justify it I think the main reason there are two one is the price and two the size I just it's so small you can't even really fit anything in it I don't even think I'd be able to fit my phone into it which at least with the Gucci bag which let me tell you which one I'm talking about at least with this little Gucci bag I can fit my phone in it but I'm not really sure if I could fit my phone in the the little Chanel bag so for whatever reason I just cannot justify purchasing that but that doesn't mean I don't love it okay the next bag that has been super trendy that I swear almost every Every single person has is the Gucci Marmont bag and it is in the medium size and this kind of resembles the Chanel bag a little bit but this bag you guys it retails for $24.90 and I don't know why but that just seems like an astronomical price for for Gucci I'm probably wrong but just for that bag I expect it to be a little cheaper and I think because I do have similar bags to it I just can't quite justify the price maybe if it was a little more inexpensive I could but it is a beautiful bag it has the the GG like buckle in the gold and I think it's really nice but I'm kind of worried with that one that it's a little bit trendy right now and it might go out of style and what I mean by that let's let's use this little super mini so you know that these tiny little G's this logo right here this is kind of when you think of a Gucci bag what you think of this print and 
for whatever reason with the Gucci Marmont, I feel as though it might go out of style. It's not like the Chanel Classic where no matter what, it's never going to go out of style. That bag is always going to be lusted after. And another thing with the Gucci Marmont, I just don't know that it would have a very good resale value. One thing to keep in mind when purchasing luxury bags and making that investment is you want to go after bags that you know are going to have a good resale value. And Chanel is an example. Louis Vuitton is an example. Those are two brands that no matter what, they're always going to appreciate. And even though Gucci does go up in value, like, well, not up in value, go up in price every year, I just don't know that it has as good of a resale value of, of those brands. And for all of those reasons, I think that is, I haven't pulled the trigger on the Gucci Marmont bag. Okay, guys, the next item I want to mention is actually an item I almost purchased multiple times and I'm talking about the Christian Louboutin So Kate patent pumps. Okay, so as you guys know, I go to a business setting um, for work every day of the week. I like to wear a lot of black. I just thought these shoes were so, so stunning. And I know with the Christian Louboutin heels, you can buy on Amazon or places like that the clear coating that goes on the bottom so you don't mess up the soles of the shoe. But these shoes retail for $725, and even though I like to invest in handbags, the main reason for that is I know they're going to hold their value, but for whatever reason with shoes, I just can't pay a ton, ton of money for them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love shoes, you can kind of tell in the background, but... Like, let's look at these. Like, these shoes right here, I love them. They're so cute. They're Jessica Simpson shoes. I want to say I got them for, like, $50. But one thing with shoes is after a while, you're going to have to replace them. So if I got the Christian Louboutin shoes, I'm going to have to eventually replace this little uh, piece right here. And you can take them to shoe cobblers, and I'm sure there are a lot of places that do fix them. I know that I, know that I would wear them a lot, but like I said, I just... It's something with shoes I can't justify paying that price for because I know that handbags, if you take care of them, you know, they can last years. But shoes, on the other hand, I feel as though within a couple of years, you're going to have to eventually buy another pair. And if I'm wrong, let me know. If any of you guys out there have any um, Christian Louboutin heels or anything like that, let me know. Do you have to, do you find yourself having to purchase them every couple of years? Do you just take really good care of them and just replace the clear cover on the soul. I just feel like no matter what, you're going to have to end up replacing something. And I just don't know if it's worth the investment, even though, like I said, I do wear a lot of black at work and I do think that they would look so nice and I love patent leather. So I'm not saying, again, this is not an item that I would never buy, but for whatever reason, I keep holding myself back when I'm about to add it to my cart. Well, I lie. I do add it to my cart, but then I hold myself back when it comes to actually purchasing them. And like I said, maybe you guys to make a liar out of me and in a couple months I'll show you that I did buy a pair but that's one of the reasons so I, I would like to know if you guys have Christian Louboutin heels what do you do to take care of them and do you feel like they're worth the investment also are they comfortable because maybe one of you out there will be able to change my mind because my subscribers can have a way of being very persuasive so that was the next item on my list Okay guys, the next item that I want to mention that I have wanted, again, it's another item I've put in my cart, but I just can't quite get it. It's the Gucci Double G belt. You guys, if you guys are on Instagram or Pinterest, you see this belt everywhere. And it looks so stylish. You can wear it with jeans. I see people wearing it with dresses and it looks so good. But for me, this retails for $450 and I just think to myself, I don't really wear a lot of belts as it is is even when I wear jeans I don't really tuck my shirts in so you wouldn't really be able to see the belt and then I think about kind of my attire when I go to work I do wear black pants and I tuck blouses in so I guess I could wear it then but I just don't know that I would get a lot of use out of it and even though I think the belt looks beautiful when I see it on other people I just can't justify the price for myself and it just seems very, very expensive for a belt, especially someone like me that doesn't really wear a belt too often. So like I said, I think it is a beautiful, stunning, chic piece, but for whatever reason, I just hold myself back from getting it. Plus, I don't know if this makes any sense, but one tiny little downfall I think with the belt is it can be 
um, a little bit flashy with the G's because the G's are so large, but that is the style right now. So, and like I said, any person I've ever seen with that belt, it looks so beautiful on them. But I just think for me, I just don't think that I would wear it enough. So that's the reason I can't quite justify purchasing the belt. Okay guys, the last item that I want to mention that is on my top five luxury items that I won't buy is another item that I really, really want and I've thought about it multiple times. And I'm sure, so sorry if I mispronounced the name, but it's the Louis Vuitton Monogram Pagasse 55 NM. So it's basically the luggage. And this retails for $3,550. Oh my gosh, for luggage. I just, I would love to own a piece of Louis Vuitton luggage, but let me tell you what holds me back. Obviously the price holds me back, but then in addition, I'm like, that is too expensive for luggage. I guess I would get use out of it, but I don't really travel enough where I feel like I could justify paying that price. Plus the main, main reason that holds me back other than the price, I would be petrified, terrified of getting this bag stolen, especially if I went somewhere and I had to check my bag and you know how it's on the conveyor belt, someone could just snatch it and that just makes me so nervous. Like maybe if I traveled all the time and I didn't ever check my bag and I knew it was going to stay with me at all times just kind of in the overhead compartment. I might be able to justify it, but just because usually when we do travel, like we'll drive to the beach in the summer or a lot of times my husband and I will go to Vegas once a year or once every two years. So like I said, I a lot of the places we do travel to, we drive to. So I can't really justify buying a piece of expensive luggage when I just don't travel that much. But it is so beautiful and it comes in the monogram and the damier, a bean. It just so, so pretty and it, it definitely is a luxury item that I would love to have. Go, there you guys go. Those are my top five items that I really, really want. But for whatever reason, I've been holding myself back. So let me know, are there any items that you kind of really, really want, but for whatever reason, you just can't pull the the trigger on it and then also of the five items that I mentioned do any of you own them and can you convince me otherwise as to why I need to have those items in my life so thank you guys again for joining me I hope you're having a wonderful weekend today is Saturday my family and I are staying home today we've just kind of been cleaning the house it's kind of the year to declutter for us we really want to have like a nice clean space and my daughter went to play outside and my husband is in the garage painting so I thought be a good time to sit down and film this with you guys so thank you again for joining me make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and follow me on instagram i'd love to have you join me over there again have a wonderful day you guys and i will see you in my next video i was looking like a fool when i met you all covered up in the dirt from my past so insecure by myself when i met you